Let's think about slopes here just for a second. Now when you think of a slope, you probably think of some type of hill or maybe snowboarding, and if we dig into that a little deeper, you can break a slope into two parts, a vertical a up and down component, and then a side to side or a horizontal component. In graphing lines, I want you to think of this vertical component, this up and down, as the rise or the change in the y value. This horizontal component we could think of as the run or the change in the x value. Whee! In math, we like to use the variable m to represent the slope. I'm not exactly sure why, maybe because m has two slopes built into it, but nonetheless, we use m. Once again, the slope, or m, can be written as the rise divided by the run, or rise over run, or the change in y divided by the change in x. Both are the same thing, just a different way of thinking about it. When you have a line on a graph, to find your slope, first you just want to pick two points. Here we've picked the points negative 2, negative 1, and 4, 3. So to find our slope, or our m, that's going to equal the change in y, or the rise, and all we need to do is count how many spaces, what is the distance, that the y value is changing. That's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, so our rise, or our change in y, is 4. That's going to be divided by our change in x. In this case, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to be a change in x or a run of 6. So we can take our m equals 4, 6 and simplify it. We always like to simplify our slope. That'll give us m equals 2 thirds. And there we have our slope. Let's try to find the the slope of this line here. First, let's pick two points. I'm going to go ahead and pick this point here at negative 2, 0, and this point here at negative 1, 2. It doesn't matter where you pick your points, but it is going to make your life easier if you pick a point that lines up nicely on the grid. I probably wouldn't pick this point right here because I'm going to have to be at the negative 1 half mark, and that's going to be a little bit more tricky to work with. Anyway, our slope, or our m, is going to equal our rise, our change in y. That's going to be 1, 2, so our change in y is 2, over our run, and it looks like we just have a run, or a change in x, of 1. So our overall slope is going to be 2 over 1, or just 2. Let's see what happens if we start at this point and count our rise over run, instead of starting at this one. So if I start at this one at the top, the rise is going to be negative 1, negative 2, because we're going in the down direction. So my m is going to equal negative 2 divided by my run, which in this case, since I'm going left, is going to be negative 1. See how I went rise, negative 1, negative 2, over my run, negative 1. So my slope is negative 2 over negative 1, which can simplify to... 2, which is the same answer that we got before. So, again, it doesn't make a difference where you start or what points you pick on the line. It's always going to work itself out to the same slope. Woo! All right, here we want to graph the line given the point 2, 0 and a slope of negative 2 thirds. First, since we know our point is 2, 0, let's start by putting a point right at that spot, 2, 0. Using that point, now I can take my slope, which is negative 2 over 3. I know slope is rise over run. That's a rise of negative 2 and a run of 3. And I can start from this point and go from there. My rise is negative 2. That's going to be down 2, negative 1, negative 2. And my run is 3. That's going to be 1, 2, 3. And at that spot right there, I know I have another point. From there, we've got two points on the line. That's all we need. Let's go ahead and connect those bad boys. And there we've got our line. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, last thing I want to show you is if you have a slope of, say, a whole number like m equals 4, how are we going to find our rise? How are we going to find our run? Remember when we simplified? We could simplify, let's say, 4 over 1 to 4. Well, we can go backwards to help us find our rise and our run. If we have m equals 4, we can just say, well, that's the same as... 4 over 1. In this case, our rise would be 4, our run would be 1. Hasta la vista, we could go from there. 